Hey guys, okay, so I wanted to come in here and start doing my very first um, pre-TTC video. Um, I've seen so many other YouTube moms um, doing pre-TTC videos and think it's a really good idea. Um, even if they're not planning to start trying within the next couple of months. My daughter's screaming. Um, even if they're not starting planning to try like in the next couple months, like within the next year or something, they're still doing pre-TTC videos. And I think it's a really um, good idea because you can never prepare too much or do enough research or um, double check everything, you know, before you really get started. Um, okay, now this is the good news. Hopefully this is the good news. Um, if everything goes um, according to plan, um, meaning financially and you know all this other stuff God willing um, I will be going back to the doctor at the beginning of January now what that means by me going to the doctor because I have the condition um, PCOS for those of you who don't know what that is it's polycystic ovarian syndrome um, basically means it's impossible for me to get pregnant unless I go see a specialist and get on either fertility medication or start with IVF. Um, what I'm going to do this time though, I'm going to try to go on a few rounds of Femera, progesterone, and glucophage um, to see you know, what happens with that this time. Because I really think that the medication will work for me. Um, but it kind of sucks that I have to you know, go through all of that um, before we actually start because <laughs> my child is supposed to be taking a nap. Do you guys hear her? Hold on. <laughs> that's so funny to me I'm sorry my camera just went out um, she's been awake since 6 o'clock you guys and it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon so I am shocked that she's not in there completely zonked out um, <laughs> it's just funny because I'm trying to do my video and all I can hear like, right through the wall is her in there screaming and talking to herself um, I need to make this quick because she's not supposed to be awake when I'm doing my video it's very distracting um, but anyway, <laughs> the plan is to start the process in January. Um, we plan to actually start our first month of official TTCing is hopefully going to be in March, um, which is so exciting, you guys. You, have, you guys have no idea how excited I am. Um, that's less. That's six months. Wait, October, September, October, November, December, January, February. Yeah, that's six months from now. So less than a year um, is when we're going to actually start trying, hopefully. Now, don't hold me to this. Don't like, you know, <laughs> don't, you know, if it comes up to be around January and I haven't like mentioned it again, um, you know, don't be asking me because I will tell you guys what happens and um, how things go because it really depends on my husband's business and how everything goes. Um, but, you know, like I said, God willing, that's when we are hoping to be able to start. Um, you know, I believe that God gives you a desire for another child for a reason. I think I'm having this desire for a reason. Um, so I want to, you know, go along with that and do the best that I can. I'm sorry, the laptop is shaking, y'all. I'm having to, like, balance it on my bedpost. Um, but I'm really hoping that I can um, work everything out, you know, to where... We can start trying officially in March. Um, I really want like a November, December baby. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I mentioned that to my husband and he was a little less than thrilled because he, our daughter's birthday is the end of August and he's thinking like financially like, oh my gosh, we're going to have Zoe's birthday and then we're going to have another kid's birthday and then we're going to have Christmas like all in a row. Um, and I guess in a way that would be a little financially difficult. <laughs> but I also think that there are definitely ways to not make it a big deal. Um, a kid is, you know, you can do basically anything for a child's birthday and they're probably going to be pretty happy. Um, they're not going to know if they don't get like a massive amounts of gifts or get to go on a special trip or something like that. As long as you love them and, you know, give them the best birthday possible, then it shouldn't matter. <laughs> so I'm a little, I'm actually not at all concerned about that. Um, but we are really, really excited. Um, I, I think I'm a little bit more excited than my husband. My husband's more, you know, men. They're kind of more financially, how are we going to be or whatever. Um, but we've been praying about it. And um, 
you know, hopefully God will bless us. Hopefully we will be able to, you know, make this happen the way that we want it to. Um, but again, it's not on our timing. <laughs> I don't know why she's awake. Um, she might have had way too much sugar or something. We went to church this morning and then we went and hung out at my husband's parents' house for a while. So maybe she got some a hold of something sugary or something and it's keeping her awake. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start doing um, pre-TTZ videos. Um, I really want to focus on um, keeping myself healthy. Um, I want to try to maintain a weight. I want to make sure I'm at a healthy weight before I start um, trying to conceive. I'm going to start taking a bunch of multivitamins, and which I do anyway, but I'm kind of going to add in some things. I'm going to add in taking Chasteberry. Um, also known as Vitex, I think it's called, um, and it's really, really good for women with PCOS. It's supposed to help induce ovulation and help regulate your cycle, um, and if by some miracle I could regulate my cycle by January, that would be awesome, so we could maybe try on our own without medical intervention, because um, medical intervention is not cheap, you guys, and it it really sucks that we have to always go that route if we want a baby. Um, it would be really nice to just kind of try and, you know, let it happen on its own. But um, I really, I'm not extremely hopeful <laughs> that that's going to happen because we tried for over a year and a half um, with Zoe and nothing happened. So, and I was taking many, many precautions and keeping myself healthy then too. So, I don't know. It's just one of the ridiculous things about having um, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, but I just want to let you guys know what's going on and what we're planning on doing um planning I say planning I don't it's not set in stone obviously we don't we're not like a hundred percent sure that this is gonna happen um but it would be really really awesome if we could start in January so um yeah I think that's it so I'll talk to you guys later I'm gonna do another um update probably in a couple weeks about the TT's pre-TTC videos um I don't want to do an update too often about it because I'll run out of stuff to talk about or I just won't have anything to say um but, you know, as things happen, I will keep you guys posted on that. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you all are all doing good. Bye, y'all.